now comes the important bit. Why do you need to identify them? Because what you have done in the PIG is basically you have identified who are the people, yeah. who are the stakeholders with high uh, interest and uh, high power, right? So you need to engage with them more effectively, you know, keep them really happy about what's happening or if something is not happening properly, the way it should be, then you need to update them immediately. In the country, you need to be partnership with them. You need to have a kind of a partnership working with them more, right? And then you don't have to engage so much with people on the on the lower side of segment strata because they are, it's less effort. You don't have to worry about managing them. Whereas you have got a lot, you have to invest your effort, time and money and, and your uh, uh, all your uh, uh, energies into managing this pure stakeholders who are the top, typically the top management, senior management project sponsors and, and these people, the board, you need to keep them, you know, engaged and in, in, and uh, you know, in the know in terms of what's happening on on the initiative, the program, project, whatever. And as the influence goes lower, you don't have to really worry. If they ask, then you can send. That's why it's full communication, is what they say. If it is, mm -hmm. um, if it is, if they're interested, if, typically they're not interested. But if you know, once in a blue moon, once in a, after about three four months, if they ask you, hey, by the way, what is happening to the project? Then you say, okay, yeah, this is what is happening. Just send them a report and get done. That's it. So, depending on where they are, you need to employ that respective communication uh, strategy. The channels channelize your effort in in keeping them on your side. Basically, the partnership again, accountability, responsibility. Obviously, that means that engagement level is two ways involving joint learning, decision making, actions on both sides. So you need to keep them really, really engaged and uh, uh, up to date with what's happening. And uh, participation is basically about part of the team engaging delivering tasks to engagement is within area of interest and responsibility. So it's basically like architects, people who are in the middle management, people who have actually got a little stake in terms of what's happening on the day-to-day -day basis. So that is a participative um, engagement. Consultation is basically people who uh, want to know who have got the expertise experience, but then they don't have any responsibility. They don't have any accountability. So if something goes wrong, they don't have to worry about it. So you need to better keep that in your mind. Uh, limited in asking relevant questions and getting the right answers so that you are, you know, you have got the ability to take a decision based on their consultation. So that's the consultation. Push engagement is basically one way, as I say, it's uh, uh, information is broadcast to stakeholder means of emails, webcasts, videos. I was telling you that, right? For example, in the, in the project I was doing with a client where they asked me to it's a board of 17 people and I was sending emails and presentations, they didn't have time. So I had to record the, uh, the session, the, a quick update uh, on my mobile phone and then used to send them. So it's basically a way to keep them informed, right? So they, they want this information every week as to what's happening. So they're busy, there's another alternative way of doing that. And pull is basically engagement level is still one way, but then the point is it is, on request, they're trying to request and then you just send them. No, it's a one-off case. Whereas this one is basically for a broadcast of different, so many different